It's a beauty pageant with a twist. You won't see women showing off their beautiful gowns. This time, the men are taking the stage. It's time for the second annual Mr. Jubilee pageant in Fairhope. Junior Auxiliary President Jennifer McDowell is going to tell us why you don't want to miss this pageant. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm wonderful. Thanks for asking. So, why don't we want to miss this pageant? What's it all about? This pageant is a womanless beauty pageant with some fabulous men who are in it. Um, many are in it to win it, but they are great men who are putting on their full drag and they've got some makeup going. <laughs> and um, they have a pinned stage name and they are also um, have a great song twist that goes with it and they've written a bio about themselves um, or the woman they wish to be. And, um, <laughs> This event is a fun event. You will not want to miss it, as you can see the pictures of the um, men from last year. And we do have some re Check them out. returning men coming back to um, see if they can take the crown this year. Okay, now this is an interactive pageant where they interact and mingle with the audience. How is the winner chosen? Well, the winner is chosen. The men will get up and they will um, their bio will be read for them. And then after they are finished with their sashaying, all the men will come out and they carry a purse and they, um, the crowd chooses the winner from putting tickets in the men's purses. And so at the end of the night, we will be counting up their tickets to see who wins. Now, this sounds like a lot of fun. Of course, all of the contestants are going to be having a lot of fun, but this is also for a great cause too, right? Yes, it is. Um, the organization is the Junior Auxiliary of the Eastern Shore, and we are a nonprofit Christian women group, and we're raising money for the children of our community. We do lots of things with um, our schools, um, we have a crown of character program that is at W.J. Carroll and Fairhope Intermediate where we honor children who show good character in the fifth grade. Um, we also work with the Exceptional Foundation and that is a program for special needs. We put on proms for them, Halloween um, get togethers. Uh, we also work with Thomas Hospital and this year we're doing an Easter extravaganza for them with their pediatric rehab. And we've done a tack room for kids who are at the hospital and need things to do, um, coloring books. And we also have a little life cart that comes around if they can't leave their bed. And it's got toys, games, movies. So it is for a great cause. Um, we provide money to the schools in Baldwin County each year at the beginning of the year for children who can't afford field trips or school supplies. So you do a lot of spectacular things for the children of Baldwin County. Great job. When is the pageant? The pageant is going to be this Friday, April 4th, at the venue in downtown Fairhope. Okay. Um, doors open at 615 and the pageant will start at 7. Um, if you buy your tickets ahead of time, they're $25 and then at the door they'll be 30 and you're going to have food and a cash bar, right? Yes. Um, your ticket, actually, your ticket comes with one voucher for a drink, tastings by Tamara, and you get one vote for your favorite contestant. Okay, so since there's a cash bar, you have to be 21 or up to attend. Thank you so much for coming on and telling everybody about it. You're welcome. And we do have a website where you can go and purchase tickets. It's jaes 4 kidsblogspotcom Okay. And you can also like us on Facebook under Mr. Jubilee, and you can also purchase tickets from a junior auxiliary member or at the Fairhope store in downtown Fairhope. Very good. Thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having us. All right. We'll be right back with more Studio 10.